Have you ever wondered why certain people enter your life at just the right moment? It feels almost as if they were sent to deliver a message or help you solve a problem. Perhaps you've experienced a sense of deja vu when meeting someone, as if you had encountered them in another life. Today we will explore how people don't enter our lives by chance, but arrive for specific reasons. Each meeting has a purpose, and it is our responsibility to leave people better than we found them. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into a story that may touch your heart deeply. Remember to support us by subscribing and sharing this video to help us create more inspiring content for you. On a sunny morning under a blossoming cherry tree, an elderly monk named Master Seiji was meditating. A young man named Kenji approached him cautiously and asked, Master, why do I sometimes feel a special bond with some people as soon as we meet, and with others a sense of discomfort? Master Seiji opened his eyes, which twinkled with wisdom, and replied, Dear Kenji, no meeting is a coincidence. Each person you encounter plays a specific role in your life story. Some stay briefly while others stay longer, helping you through various seasons of your life. He pointed to the birds soaring in the sky and continued, Like those birds, we don't fly randomly through life. We are carried by unseen forces, meeting others for reasons deeper than we might understand. Kenji nodded, his curiosity piqued. But Master, what about those who enter our lives only to hurt us? How can their presence be meaningful? Seiji's expression softened. Ah, that is a profound question. Even those who hurt us serve a purpose. They are the harsh lessons, the challenges that forge our character and resilience. Think of your life as a garden. Seiji added, his voice calm and soothing. Each person you meet is like a seed that destiny plants in your path. Some grow into beautiful flowers, blooming brightly but briefly, while others become mighty trees, providing shade and shelter for many years. Kenji reflected on the people who had come and gone in his life, likening them to the various plants in a garden, each contributing in their own unique way. The ones who hurt us, Seiji continued, are like stones in our path. Though they may cause us to stumble and feel pain, they also make us stronger, helping us to grow and find our inner strength. He then looked towards a sturdy tree nearby and said, There are those who support us during stormy times, much like the roots of this tree hold it steady against the winds. Kenji thought of a friend who had been his anchor during a tumultuous time in his life, a solid presence he could rely on. Some people, the master concluded, remain with us forever. They are like stars in the night sky, constant, bright, and guiding. These are our true friends, family, or soulmates with whom we share both the burdens and joys of life. As the sun dipped lower in the sky, casting long shadows beneath the cherry trees, Master Seiji shared a profound insight with his young disciple. Kenji, every individual you meet is not just passing through your life by accident. Imagine life as a grand orchestra where each person plays a unique instrument. Together, the music they create influences the course of your journey, sometimes subtly, sometimes dramatically. Consider this, Seiji continued, pointing to the flowing river beside them. Just as each drop of water contributes to the river's might, each person you encounter adds to the river of your life. Some are like small tributaries, bringing new insights and energy, while others are like undercurrents challenging your strength and resilience. Kenji listened, captivated by the metaphor, as Seiji elaborated on four profound types of individuals we meet. 1. The Catalysts These are the people who compel us to move beyond our limits. They challenge our complacency and push us toward new horizons of understanding and achievement. Like a stone thrown into a still pond, they create ripples that change the very shape of our waters. 2. The Nurturers Then there are those who nourish our spirits, providing comfort and support. They are like the sun to our gardens, helping us to grow and flourish even in the darkest times. Their presence reminds us of the goodness and light in the world. 3. The Reflections Lastly, we meet mirrors on our journey, those who reflect back to us the truths we need to see about ourselves. They help us to acknowledge our weaknesses and strengths, driving our personal evolution. With each meeting, no matter how brief, a lesson is imparted, a gift is given. 4. The Challengers 
And then there are those who hurt us. These individuals, though they cause us pain, serve as the harshest teachers. They push us to confront our deepest fears, insecurities, and vulnerabilities. Through their challenges, we learn resilience, forgiveness, and the strength to move forward. Seiji's eyes gleamed with wisdom as he concluded, These lessons weave into the tapestry of our existence. Each thread is as crucial as the next. As the lesson neared its end, Master Seiji looked earnestly into Kenji's eyes. Now, young friend, remember this. Life is an intricate symphony of encounters. Listen carefully to each note, harmonize with the melodies around you, and contribute your music with intention and grace. And most importantly, strive to leave each person better than you found them, for this is the true purpose of every meeting. Kenji, still pondering the lesson, asked, But Master, how do we deal with the pain caused by those who hurt us? How can we leave them better than we found them? Master Seiji smiled gently. The key, Kenji, is to understand that pain is a part of growth. Those who hurt us teach us resilience, empathy, and forgiveness. When someone hurts you, try to see the lesson they bring. It may be difficult, but within every wound lies a seed of wisdom. Seiji continued, Forgive them, not for their sake, but for your own peace. Hold on to the lessons and let go of the pain. This is how you turn your wounds into wisdom and ensure that you leave people better than you found them, even those who have hurt you. Kenji nodded, feeling a sense of clarity. He realized that even the painful encounters had shaped him into who he was, and that by embracing the lessons, he could move forward with a lighter heart. As the lesson neared its end, Master Seiji looked earnestly into Kenji's eyes. Now, young friend, remember this. Life is an intricate symphony of encounters. Listen carefully to each note, harmonize with the melodies around you, and contribute your music with intention and grace. And most importantly, strive to leave each person better than you found them, for this is the true purpose of every meeting. Kenji felt a deep sense of gratitude for the wisdom imparted by Master Seiji. He understood that every person he met, whether a friend or a foe, contributed to his journey in significant ways. He vowed to carry this wisdom forward, striving to leave a positive impact on everyone he encountered. If you find a reflection of your life in this story, I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe for more Zen Wisdom Stories. Let us know in the comments how people have influenced your journey and share this video so that others might find guidance and comfort in these teachings. Together, let's continue to explore the profound connections that shape our lives.